This week, we've been engaging the religious community on the issue of legalizing homosexuality. Tonight, we get a Hindu perspective. Hinduism is the world's oldest religion. And in the Hindu texts, there is a strong emphasis on marriage and procreation. Former politician and attorney at law, Balgaman Ramdeen, says homosexuality is contrary to nature. He says Hindus believe in reincarnation and that one is punished by one's sins and not for another person's. Therefore, the belief is that the urge of homosexuality may be connected to one's past. My own belief is that when there is an unnatural inclination in a human being to have sex relationship with another person of the same sex, then there must have been something in their past which has caused them to be born in a form which does not have the sexual inclination which goes with that form. He says if one feels such desires, help must be sought from the elders. You must try to control your sexual inclination. You must go to your elders. You must go to your pundit. You must go to your seniors in your own family and ask them for help. Perhaps if you try hard enough, and if you get the help that you require, you may be able to control your inclination and revert to normalcy. There has been much talk among Hindus in other countries about the stance of devotees as it pertains to homosexuality. The Bollywood film Girlfriends featuring lesbians has been met with protest in India. Mr. Ramdeen says when it comes to homosexuality, the issue of rights doesn't arise. They have human rights to behave as nature intended them to behave. But if they want to violate those rights and cross the barriers into doing what society, every society, looks upon with disfavor or does not countenance, then they can't change the world. They have to change themselves. The Secretary General of the Sanata and Dharma Mahasabha, Satnarayan Maharaj, in an article in the Trinidad Express said, quote, although the rest of the world is turning upside down to accommodate these people, Trinidad and Tobago has more important things to address than the rights of gays and lesbians. He further stated that because the group exists, it is not sufficient grounds to change the laws. In 2009, India Supreme Court ruled that its anti-gay laws were unconstitutional. Mr. Ramdeen says that society must treat the homosexual community with respect, but it does not mean that the community must publicly display their behavior. And society ought to be understanding and not to publicly humiliate or criticize or condemn, provided that the sexual orientation of any such person should not be flaunted in public to offend the public susceptibilities of the normal person. Even among the birds, even among the plants, there is a male and a female, and the bee will impregnate the female with the pollen from the male plant. Nature is intended that you have two of opposite sex to have union. Join TV6 News next week when we'll have a response from a representative from the United Nations on the issue.